makes me proud to see it. It's very cool. It's been a long time since we've had C1 men in the final, so very proud of the boys and hoping they can lay it down for us. Go figure. But, uh, oh, Nair is a big problem. He's got it in the voice box. Yeah, just coming in a bit tight on due for one. Yeah, so I'm unlucky again. He's going to come after you now. He's going to say, why did you make me say that, Brady? Yeah. So, well, time to watch her cousin. Who's next? Are they cousins? Yeah, yeah, here we go. This oh, man yeah. loves the big stage roles. Yeah, I have to say, an incredible week uh, for Mark. Hit gastro no. Saturday. Really? Didn't paddle for the first two days of official training no speed on that day, but he's pretty consistent and he, he paddles well. Oh, Mark. Oh, he's doing some, some freestyle. Some fr <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> freestyle with Jez Jez, guys like that, they'll be very excited to see him. Executing uh, those moves. Uh, but yeah, he, he races well on the big stage. The nerves, I think he controls well. This is his first World Cup race. I know. He's yeah. absolutely going for it. He went for it. Yeah, unfortunately, it went for him. Now, Roberto Colazingari. He is Ken Roberto Colazingari. He won oh. it. Oh, he's done a Western roll. He's done the roll. Right here, Benush, he might have thought that he was uh, going to struggle, but he, at the moment, is looking all right. With his 99.1, you can't imagine that he could win it. Middle five. We're going to have a new race leader. And he's been doing his best. How much depth is there in this French team? I mean, blokes just rock up that we haven't seen at a senior World Cup level for years. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Whoa! Whoa. 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 There you go. Well, yeah. six seconds in penalty, so that's never going to cut it in you know, the final, you would think. Yeah, we're almost halfway through and we're seeing you know, how hard this course uh, really is. And sort of paddle like that, you paddle well on darts, I think. Yeah, so let's see if he gets the right angle here. And we'll keep going at this pace, he's putting himself in top three yeah. position. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what he always right now. Yep, new race leader. Here he is, Adam Burgess from Great Britain. He's going to go in well and truly under the time set by Roberto Colazingari. So yeah, pretty good. Nice place to be. Yeah, you think it'll be enough for a medal? Not today. I don't think so. We got five very strong boats left to go. Um, yeah, I kept it clean. I did a solid job. But uh, I think we're about to see something special from the Slovenians. Johan Seneschalt. And then Benjamin Sasek will be the last paddler on the course. A really, really beautiful city, isn't it? It is, yeah. Really nice. The town centre is sort of got a canal running through the middle and it's restaurants either side. It's very nice. Now, here we go. The handstand expert, Tristan Carter. Uh, if you missed earlier on today, you can find out. Tristan Carter from Australia. Ooh, yes, he is. He's sitting in check. He gets a little nervous, but I think it's a healthy amount, if you know what I mean. He, yep. um, he manages it well. Cross in the fastest time. Go. That's a good move as well. Indeed, 96.4 is what he's got to go under, and he's done it. Whoa, Tristan Carter from Australia well has done. put himself in the mix. Put it out there. All right, then. You're not going higher, higher than that. You think bronze is best you can get with that? Hometown Please. pressure. Slovenia. Did a good run in the semi. Can he repeat it, though, in the final? We know he's capable, but sometimes can make a mistake or two. Everything going well for Zach Loken. Let's get an update on the split in just a moment. He's in touch. He most certainly Ooh, is. He's going fast. Run. When was the last time the Americans won a C1 medal? My Whoa, goodness. look at this time. That is electric. We could see a 90 second time here, and that will throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Wow, he's just got to get on the bottom. Very nice. Zach Loken is putting together a special run here for the United States of America. 90 seconds. Let's see. He's crossing run. the line. What a great wow. run. Wow. Zach Loken, where have, Oh, my where, goodness. Bug, well done. Where have you hidden that? He's absolutely sent it. Where have you hidden that run? And look at Rob. Wow. Look at Ralph there. The coach he's been yeah, years, but he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah, good emotions. Pure emotion. Why? <laughs> Everyone calls him Bud, but I don't know why. But, uh, um, Eric will be, will be breaking out extra cookie dough tonight, for sure, for the Locans. Now, though, what, this has put the pressure on the locals, I can tell you, because now they know they've got to do something special. 
Yeah, but this man can certainly do something special in this ball. Yeah, yeah. Final, I expect him to sort of uh, make the corrections. Who's it? I'm out firing. It was a really messy semi final, wasn't it? But look at that time. He's, yeah. up, he's up on Logan's time. He we cannot afford a gate touch, you would think. No, but this is looking very good, Ross. I expect this to be up. Very good in the middle. Luka Bozic from Slovenia. Never, never been to an Olympics. Yeah. He really, really was. So the 91.43. Oh, look at this. Six hundredths of a second in it. This is going to be a race to the finish. My goodness. Trying to lift Luka Bozic now. He's got it. Oh, the direct move there. Brave move. Slightly quicker. He's going to be our new leader. The he crowd is. will get excited. Listen to this. Wow. Listen to that. Brave move, Brody. Going straight there yeah. through those last two. Tough, tough move. Going for him. So what has he got for us? Uh, the surprise paddler of the semis World championships. And this could be a golden moment for the Frenchman. We know that uh, we know that Bozic was fast at the bottom of the course. That's where he made up all his time. Made it work. So, yep. This next split will be interesting. So, yes, he's just blowing out a little bit, so I think that's going to be very hard for him to pull that back. And a little bit slow there, so I think he's going to slip out of the picture there. Yes. Not, not in the top three, unfortunately, for Johan Seneschalt. Zach Lopen oh, does a little roll and gets a golf full of the local water. The Slovenians have got a gold medal. The and crowd will love it. And the crowd will be pumped. They've already picked up a medal today and now they are looking they've got a definite goal oh. that's a good move do you reckon that was planned no definitely not planned i think he's just yeah getting spun around in the stopper yeah, he must have done that stop about a million times yeah oh and he's what got a, a touch, touch. For this oh my goodness this is throwing it wide open now he has to do something he has to take risks not the quickest through there either for Benjamin Savasek, so I don't know if he's going to be able to make up the time. I don't think he can win the gold. I don't think he can win the silver. Can he pick up a bronze? Let's see. He's got to go under Tristan Carter's 94.53. I think it's going to be really close. Yes, he gets the bronze. Oh. Tristan Carter cannot believe it, but that is gold and bronze for the Slovenians. Wow. And in your home, how do you feel? Oh, I feel really, really nice today. But, uh, it was a tough course, but I did it really good on the end. Uh, also, after two World Cups, uh, okay, in the Augsburg, I, I would have been in the final, but in Prague, I missed the final. So uh, it's glad to be back uh, on the podium uh, after last year's podiums. So uh, I really love the atmosphere here and the course, of course. So. Uh, thank you again to all the crowds uh, and Yeah, maybe you, you want to say something to them in Slovenian? Hvala še enkrat vsem, res bili ste mi ujezjemno podporo, tako da se vidimo jutre, da navijemo še za druge. Hvala. For the rest of the race and there was a very happy Slovenian Luka Bozic celebrating his second gold medal on his home course in Tassin. Now look at him there 90.29 that's a pretty impressive time